And hard to believe 50 years ago today, we had the super tornado outbreak of 1974. My friend, Chief Meteorologist Steve Horsmeyer is out live in Sailor Park. And Steve, you witnessed this tornado um, and you covered it as well. What's the very latest? Well, the latest is they've got a big ceremony uh, coming up tonight. Uh, six to seven o'clock, they're going to have featured speakers, people who were involved in it, survivors, people from the Weather Service, uh, officials that are now involved in keeping people safe. And that's six to seven, a couple blocks away. But we're here in the park. Okay, this is Sailor Park in the community of Sailor Park. This is the staging area. When the tornado came through here, this is where everybody got their got all the plans put together and this is where the work center was uh, for getting people rescued and all that. However, I did see this tornado, but I wasn't anywhere near here. I was in Claremont County 50 years ago today. I can't believe it was 50 years ago. In the distance, almost 500 feet above the Ohio River is Delhi, Dent, Mac, and White Oak, just to name a few. The scene of a tornado terror on April 3rd, 1974, when an F5 tornado went on a rampage in western Hamilton County. Imagine being the Muller family and looking out your front door and seeing this. A large, historic, destructive tornado. Or being Don Omer, chief of the Delhi Fire Department, and looking in the distance, knowing a great test of your skills and endurance was being born. The Sailor Park tornado first touched down not far from Randolph, Indiana, in Switzerland County. It quickly made its way across the Ohio River, passing through a gravel pit on the Kentucky side, just north of Bellevue, and raced to the northeast. This is Dr. Ted Fujita, the EF and F scale guy, and this is Dr. Greg Forbes, Fujita's assistant in 1974. You might recognize him from the Weather Channel. Long before the internet and cell phone cameras, they collected all the home movies and photographs they could find to measure wind speeds by tracking debris. Here are two examples of the movement of dust and debris observed by Fujita and Forbes on the Xenia tornado when they worked on that. They determined the winds in the Sailor Park Twister reached 178 miles an hour and the tornado was blasting air skyward at an incredible 160 miles an hour. The monster tornado was speeding northeastward at 58 miles an hour leaving little time to take cover. Miraculously, only three people died during the life of the killer storm. After F4 damage in Bulletsville and Taylorsport, the tornado strengthened to F5 status and crossed the Ohio River again. Andrew McGregor's photograph showed the funnel getting wider as it sucked up river water just before obliterating Moorhead Marina when lifting and flipping the restaurant barge. Next was Sailor Park, and the video almost tells it all, but the headline the next day in the Cincinnati Post shows the human cost. After the storm, much of the Ohio River community was devastated. After Sailor Park, this historic tornado traveled through Bridgetown, Mack, Dent, and lifted near White Oak. And this sequence of photographs taken by Jay Carter from Clifton Heights shows the tornado weakening and roping out as its deadly life comes to an end. And weather-wise, it's a cold post-tornado day today. It was chilly after the 1974 tornado, uh, but people in Sailor Park remember it. We've talked to a couple people that walked by that were observers of the tornado from Sailor Park, and they never want to forget what happened that day. The good news is, is that technology has come so far that it's much easier for meteorologists to keep people safe uh, than it was back in 1974. But even that far back, the tornado warnings came out a good 45 minutes before the tornado touched down. Hey, Steve, I got a question. Is there any evidence of that tornado that went through the area 50 years ago? Because when you look at Northwest Hamilton County, when the tornadoes touch down there, you see all kinds of trees kind of listing to the side and evidence that a tornado touched down there in the late 90s. Do you see any evidence that it touched down 50 years ago? Uh, no, I don't. I drove around uh, several different places when I got to Sailor Park here a little while ago and looking for just that and I saw nothing like that at all. So I guess 50 years, there might be some things that I didn't see that uh, somebody that lives here could point out, but there was nothing obvious, Rob.